All right, everyone, you gotta split the suture. What do I mean by that? Well, I just cleared about two months worth of emails, website submissions, Facebook messages, Instagram DMs, and any other way that people contact me with questions. And legitimately, 30% of the questions that I just went through were all asking fundamentally the same thing. My tongue doesn't fit in my mouth. How do I make my tongue fit in my mouth? In other words, how do I expand the maxilla so that it can house the tongue? Short answer, I think MSE. Longer answer, well, first a disclaimer. I'm midway through my MSE treatment. I don't want to make the same mistake I made with AGA where I prematurely uh, start singing its graces to the world, um, start praising it and getting everyone to go out and do it. Uh, getting anyone to go out and do it because the fact of the matter is I don't know what the long-term side effects of this are Going to be on me uh, What one long-term side effect will certainly be that I'll have a bigger maxilla in terms of negative side effects though I don't know yet. So please hang tight for now That being said I Had a consult the other day with a gentleman. He was awesome. He knew way more than I did he did a consult with me, but I learned, I think, twice as much as he did on the call, because this guy was brilliant and has been trying to figure this all out for a very long time uh, and, and has really navigated this world and gets it. And he was asking me about my experience with MSE because he's discovered MSE as well and he's considering it. And he said to me, he said, you know, it's becoming clearer and clearer there's really no other way. You've just got to split the suture. You've got to split the suture. What other way is there to make the maxilla bigger besides splitting the suture? There's no other way. Oh, sure, there are growth appliances, right? The, um, the magical agar, the magical ALF, the magical DNA, the growth appliances, right? They press the magic button and then growth magically happens. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not quite ready to go as far as to call bullshit on that, but I am gonna say hocus pocus. It's a little bit hocus pocus. It's a little bit, it's a little bit abracadabra with that stuff, or should I say agacadabra? Because what a lot of us are starting to realize is actually happening with these appliances is there's no, there's no biomechanism, there's no bone producing biomechanism involved in these appliances. They're simply pushing teeth through alveolar bone. That'll get you somewhere, but it is not gonna get you to where something like MSE can get you with its totally bone-borne skeletal level expansion. Uh, with very little risk to the teeth. If you were to try to go 12 millimeters, which is what the max of my MSE is 12 millimeters, if you were to try to go 12 millimeters with something like AGA, right? I'm not even gonna say ALF, because to get 12 millimeters with ALF would take about 12 years. But something like AGA, um, fuck man, your teeth might pop out. And I did, I did 10 millimeters with AGA and I did no service to my front teeth by doing that. Actually, there's some damage that happened, right? Um, and in addition to the risk that these magical, mystical, abracadabra growth appliances pose to the teeth, they also don't really seem to do much laterally, right? Like my AGA treatment did pretty much zero for me laterally. Uh, supposedly the controlled arch comes in and widens. That didn't happen for me. Uh, MSE is in a whole category of its own in terms of what it can do to widen the maxilla. We all want that wide, flat maxilla so that we can house our tongues, so that we can be normal, functioning human beings, so that we aren't handicapped in the head, right? And it's, it's becoming clearer and clearer to me that 
to do that, you simply got to split the suture. I know it sucks, right? Who the hell wants screws? Who the hell wants half inch screws going up into their bone? Who the hell wants cortical punctures at the roof of their mouth? Certainly I wouldn't have been ready to make that leap two years ago. But knowing what I know now, it just doesn't seem like there's any other way um, for most of us to achieve what it seems like we're really trying to achieve, which is substantial, substantial, robust maxillary expansion. You gotta split the suture.